Hey, everyone. Um, all right, so I'm going to tell you about one of my earliest sports memories. Um, it was when I was six years old. I was in the backseat of my mother's car, and I was crying. My basketball team had just lost 10 to 12. My mother was saying something about, quote, if this wasn't fun, we aren't going to be playing anymore. Um, sports were supposed to be fun. Through my tears, I was going on and on about if I had only scored two more baskets, we would have won. As my older sister recollects, I had scored eight of my team's 10 points, and she said that I had some issues. <laughs> so, you know, my issue is that I've always been super competitive. I can't recall a time in my life where I didn't want to be the best and didn't want to win. It was simply in me. Um, if I didn't feel that I had gotten a good enough workout after practice, I'd go run, usually watching something like Larry Bird, The Legend, or prior field hockey game tapes. Um, if I couldn't get my reverse stick chip um, to the right corner, I would stay outside and practice and practice until I got it there. Um, we did have a field hockey net in my backyard, so thank you, Mom and Dad, for that. <laughs> um, ultimately, in field hockey, I found my competitive outlet um, and my passion. It was a place to channel my drive, and that drive ultimately landed me at Harvard. I'm so grateful to be here tonight. It is a tremendous honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, especially with this class of amazing athletes, um, many of whom I knew as friends off the field. So some of my Harvard feel like um, memories really, um, my favorite ones were really about catapulting the program to the top 16 in the nation, um, earning two NCAA tournament bids, having four years of winning records, and individually I'm most proud of the fact um, that despite missing my entire sophomore year to a knee injury, um, I was able to earn All-American honors. But the, really the best part of receiving this honor tonight um, is being able to share it with those who supported me on every step of this journey. Um, so to my parents, thank you. Um, you have been by my side for every practice game and tournament and always been my biggest fans. Often can be seen jumping up and down in the backgrounds of videos and pictures. Um, and your investment in me and the sport I loved really built the foundation for my success. Thank you to my sisters, Tina and Jen. You've served as great inspirations um, in my life and you're both amazing Division I field hockey players and U.S. field hockey players in your own right. I learned so much by watching you both play and all of those years of kicking the crap out of each other in the backyard really paid off. <laughs> <laughs> to my teammates, there are so many of you, but I specifically want to call out my class. Nina, thank you for being here tonight. Um, honors, Debo and KZ. We had a lot of success and a lot of fun in our four years together, and I feel so lucky to still have you all as great friends in life. To my coach, Sue, I would not be receiving this honor without you. You not only coach us to all of those winning seasons, um, but you also supported us as individuals above field hockey players. And I made it through my injury with you by my side, always believing in me. Um, thank you for mastering that rare combination of being a coach and a mentor, of guidance and empathy, and always pushing us to be our best. Um, to my husband, Jeff, um, I feel so fortunate uh, to have created this crazy and wonderful life with you and our three girls, Ellie, Caroline, and May, um, and to have inherited such great in-laws. You now give me the support and life that everyone had given me in field hockey growing up. Lastly, to my oldest daughter, Ellie, um, who is here tonight and way past her bedtime. <laughs> um, I hope that I can serve as an inspiration to you and as you find your passions in life. Um, you were the first to make me a mom, and there has been no greater thrill in my life than that. Um, on a final note, um, my career has really taken me down several different paths. Um, ultimately, it's led me back to sports, um, as I now work at Reebok here in Boston. At Reebok, we have a motto that really resonates with me, and I think it will really resonate with many of you here tonight. It states, through sport, we have the, pow the power to change lives. I know it's changed mine. Thank you. <laughs>